Hello friends, welcome to Avatar Technology Extra. We're located at Skolkov Innovation Center and today we'd like you to meet our special guest, a man who robocloned himself. Professor Hiroshi Shigura, a visionary who made a rubber copy of himself. He leads the laboratory at Osaka University and now just finished giving his two lectures. What direction anthropomorphic robotics is taking these days and what are you working on at the moment? Well, actually, you know, the, uh, we're going to have many choices about the robots. So the, someone want to have a more human-like robot, someone want to have a more cartoon-like, uh, you know, mechanical-looking robot. The important thing is to have a variation. And especially for the, uh, uh, the very human-like robots, that is a very important tool for understanding human itself. Right? So how we can build the more better the world, better interface, better machines. You know, if we understand the uh, important factors for the human-robot interactions, I think uh, you know, we, can, we can get much better ideas how we can improve the current society, the current uh, you know, machines. What are you working on at the moment? Um, the next big step is uh, to have a fully autonomous robot which can have uh, intention and desires. What we are missing for the current robot is intention and desires. The robot cannot have, uh, you know, robot doesn't have uh, uh, intention and desire. Therefore, robot cannot understand the human's intention and desires. You know, that we, um, I just started the big, biggest uh, robotics project in Japan. So that grant is a very huge. Um, total amount is around the 60 million US dollars for the five years. You know, the, our goal is to implement the intention and desire to the robots. Are there any plans to use artificial muscle or some kind of other technology that will make the robot look more realistic? And how, in your opinion, the cyber face can be even more perfect, more like a human to avoid this uncanny valley? Artificial muscle is very, very important. You know, that is another missing technology. So now you know the uh, we are using uh, some the uh, result of uh, industrial robots for creating uh, very human-like robots, but it is not good. I mean, the motors from the industrial robot is not so good for the uh, very human-like robots. So um, the in our group, so we are creating, we are de uh, developing better artificial muscles for the androids. So, um, it's an electric, uh, el el electromagnetic linear actuators, like a Terminator. So you know the Terminator the movies? Yeah. The yeah, Terminator yeah, yeah. has some cylinder here, right? So that is a very powerful uh, linear actuators. We need to have that kind of technologies, right? And then the, probably after that, we're going to have a more soft human-like actuators. But uh, before that, you know, mm -hmm. what we need is just uh, a uh, powerful cylinder, cylindrical, uh, well, you know, uh, linear actuators. What's your forecast for anthropomorphic robotics mass production? When it will be implemented in common people's lives? And how fast do you think robots can be integrated in our daily routine? Mm, so the 3D printing technology is, you know, the progressing very much. So now, you know, the, we are using 3D printers for making the Android. Um, but not fully um, autonomous, I mean automated. Um, but the near future, I think uh, we can print out the uh, soft uh, human-like skin you know, with the 3D printers. So, you know, the, the current limitation for the 3D printer is the soft materials. But, uh, you know, the, uh, um, the people that are working for the 3D printing technologies, uh, they are improving the technologies very much recently. And in the near future, we may have uh, silicon 3D printers. Mm -hmm. And you know, that we can you know, just, uh, you, know, you know, well, as the, uh, well, um, you know, the, the, the computer can, um, well, how can I say that? You know, by using a 3D printer, we, can, we, we, we may have a, a silicon Android, the Android face made by a silicon. And yes, you know, our population going to be a half, right? So there is the statistics about that. And, uh, but still, you know, we want to keep the uh, uh, same quality of life and the, we want to keep uh, um, the uh, same services the, to the people, right? Then definitely we have to use more robotic technologies. 
four years ago, Dmitry Itzkov talked to you in Moscow about human immortality, and you were also questioned about this topic uh, of immortality, uh, how it's percepted in Japan. This idea seemed quite popular, according to you. Back then, you also said that your nation sees beauty to accept death with dignity and doesn't aspire to eternal life. However, much has been changed, including the basic of the topic. So, Professor, do you see the change in the perception of this topic in Japan and in the rest of the world? How would you refer to this issue? Perception is probably you know, still in Android technologies, is a kind of a futuristic uh, you know, the technologies. It's not true yet, but it's true for me and for some uh, you know, the, uh, the peoples uh, who are working with me. For example, the uh, 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 well, uh, the famous persons for the com uh, sto uh, comic storytelling, mm -hmm. uh, Rakugo, that we call in Japanese, and he's a uh, professional, very important the uh, comic storytellers. But the, the and we made uh, his android, yeah, because he's a national treasure, and uh, he get old and he cannot play anymore. Therefore, you know that we made his android. But uh, last uh, last month he passed away eventually. Unfortunately, and uh, but uh, you know, the story that people can enjoy his talk because we have Android, especially for the famous people, famous and important people. You know, the, usually the people wanna wanna create a statue, right? But Android is better, right? right? And Android can have some uh, automated behaviors and can simulate the healthy person. Right? It is different from statue, right? We were all, you know, basically we have that kind of ideas, right? The, by, by creating the statues, we want to survive in this world forever, right? But, uh, you know, now we have a much better technologies. <laughs>